part two of the boat remod right now. All right, so I started with the oars and I sanded them down um, a good, gave it a good sanding and then I put on a stain with polyurethane on the oars. I'm not gonna keep the oars, but I'm gonna keep them around just in case. Here's the outside of the boat. You can see there's moss that has grown on part of the transom where you put the motor. Inside, I had pulled old carpet out of there, indoor outdoor carpet that I laid in there to give it a little, little uh, quieter boat as you fish back in like 2002. So I need to sand all that old carpet and glue off. And this is the outside of the boat. See, it's got a lot of paint that I'm gonna take down as much as I can to repaint the boat. And yeah, there's all that. I had like a, <laughs> a, a hillbilly camouflage deal going on there. This boat's an old Sears. There it is, Sears Game Fisher. I think it's a 1974 model. I don't know, I think the boat's older than mine. And there's that moss, but that's the boat. And then I got to work sanding all of it down. First I vacuumed it all out before I sanded it, just to make sure I knew what spots to hit. And I used a wood chisel actually to get up all the glue and carpet, the thick pieces of glue and carpet from earlier today. And of course you had to vacuum all that out to keep going. And then I got out the sander. I was using, I think 220 grit to start. And then this was later this evening. Finally got most of the glue and most of the old carpet that stuck to it off. And this is the boat after today's part two, trying to get the inside cleaned up. And then what I'll do is once I get it all cleaned up, I'll fill it up with water on the outside, obviously, and check for leaks, mark those leaks. And that's where I'll start patching it. All right, so that was part two of the boat remod today. I did a lot of sanding, got up all the carpet and everything. There's a ton more sanding that's gonna need to be done, but on the next one, you'll see that I'll have the boat sanded. And it may look like this. There may be some paint that sticks to the old aluminum um, paint that was on the outside, and that's okay. Eventually, it'll all be painted another color. Haven't decided that yet. Check this out. So the plan is that from like here back to like right there will be a deck, a fisherman's deck. Maybe I'll have a, it'll probably go further back, maybe back right there. Um, on where this rides, there'll be a seat post coming off the deck where you can mount a seat and fish from a seat or there'll be a, a standing platform here with about three compartments. One will be a live well, one will be a uh, cooler, and another one will be a compartment where I put tackle and different things like that. And then this will be obviously the captain's seat where I'll work like a five horsepower motor. This will be, I'm thinking right about here, we'll, maybe I'll put another two compartments for more tackle, or I was gonna run uh, some conduit through here, some, uh, yeah, to put fishing poles and whatnot, but I don't know. I'm still working on the, the design of it. And then back here, right here is going to be the, uh, electrical compartment. Um, there'll be a deck sort of back here. Um, and then a compartment for the battery and other electrical components. Uh, eventually I'll have a fish finder and a motor and all that good stuff. But that's part two. Part three, what I need to do is, uh, I'm not gonna do another video on sanding, but 
eventually I'll have all this stuff sanded. That's what I'm gonna work on the next uh, week or so, get this thing sanded down. And then I'm gonna check for leaks. And then I'm gonna mark, say a rivet's leaking, I'll mark that rivet, replace the rivet, and just make sure that it's all sealed up before I start to frame the deck piece of the boat. I'll probably paint the inside or prime the inside, prime it and paint it before I put a uh, deck on just to make sure that it's solid and done right. Part two.